Hello and welcome back guys. Today we will see rounding function in Power BI and we will be doing this in two methods that is floor function and another one is round down. So this data set I have obtained from Kaggle and we will import this into our Power BI to see the rounding method. So let me open for Power BI and I'll import this using get data, click on Excel workbook. We we'll choose the data from the browsing window and click on open. So it will load into the small window and in this case it is showing in which sheet our data is present. So in this case our data is present in sheet 1. So I'll click on and click on load. We have to allow a few moments to get it loaded into the power BI. Right now it's opening and yeah it has successfully loaded. It is in if you click on report view, so it's nothing. So here in this window we can generate all the visual reports. If we click on data and it will show that our data is present in this in tabular form. In this case, we have a column that is called price each. So this column has the number with a decimal, and we will be doing this rounding off to get it as 11 or before the point and we want to round it as uh, 1199 14 so like that we want to round it off so this rounding off will be doing in two methods so let me show you how to do that one using floor i'll be clicking on this column new column and let me give the first a name column as price price per unit equal sign will so if we want to come down to the second line we have to use shift and enter in this case i'll be using floor i have to press the hit tab key so it's asking for which number we want to do the triangle so in this case we want this to be applied with price each coin so in this case i'll put price so i'll choose this price each good comma and it's asking for significance so if we put one let me explain what will happen so if we choose one so it will rounding to the before the decimal one and it will strip off all the after decimal sign whatever numbers are present so this is a floor one and for round down, let me click on new co column once again. And this also let me give as price per unit. But in this case, we'll be using round down. So I'll write that. And a put comma. It shift enter right round down I'll choose this and number again we want this to be applied on price each column price each we'll put comma and let me explain if we put zero what will happen or let me explain what will happen with one if we put one it will take after decimal just one single digit so it is giving 11.9 so if we put two it will give two digits after the decimal and if we put zero it will give nothing after point decimal so it will give before the decimal one and in this way we'll be able to do the rounding of so let me know in the comment box which one do you like more and if you want to download or if you want to get this data you can check it to the description box and if you like this video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my, my channel till then take care bye bye and i'll see you with another new exciting video thank you so much Bye bye